Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up another challenging question from algebraic simplifications. Here we have expression 1 over 99 minus 70 root 2 whole power 5 then whole power 1 over 6. So let's consider the given expression as E and I will showcase two methods to simplify this problem. So I will be writing here method number 1. I can see this problem in this way also. 99 minus 70 root 2 whole power is 5 because numerator is 1 and then whole power is 1 over 6. Now I will consider this inner bracket where we have 1 over 99 let me write here minus 70 root 2. Now let us multiply our numerator denominator with 99 plus 70 root 2 over 99 plus 70 root 2. Now you can see in denominator it is a minus b times a plus b written. So difference of two squares will come into the picture. So I will be writing in the denominator 99 square minus 70 root 2 whole square. Numerator will be 99 plus 70 root 2. Next step I can write 99 plus 70 root 2. Denominator I can write 99 square which is 9801 minus 9800 is 70 root 2 square. So denominator will be 1. So I can write 99 plus 70 root 2. So our expression will transform into numerator only. So I will be writing 99 plus 70 root 2 whole power is 5 and then whole power is 1 over 6. Now I will switch these exponents as we know a power b whole power c we can consider a power c whole power b. So I can write our expression as 99 plus 70 root 2 and then I will write power 1 by 6 and then we can consider whole power 5. Now let us call this inner bracket with power 1 by 6. Let us consider A. So I will write expression first 99 plus 70 root 2 whole power is 1 by 6 and then whole power is 5 and I will consider now this is square or bracket this bracket equal to suppose a. So we are going to calculate a power 5. Let us simplify a separately. So I can write 99 plus 70 root 2 whole power 6. 1 over 6 as 99 plus 70 root 2 and then I will consider whole power 1 by 2 and then we can write whole power 1 by 3. Using the exponent property a power b times c any time we can write a power b whole power c or a power c whole power b. So I am considering a square root first and then we will consider cube root. So a is nothing but cube root of a square root of 99 plus 70 root 2. Now I can see this 99 plus 70 root 2 separately. 99 plus 70 root 2 as we can write 49 plus 50 and then it is 70 root 2. Okay. 49 we can write it is 7 square. 50 is a square of 5 root 2. 25 times 2. Check this third term 2ab. So 2 times 7 times 5 root 2. Is it matching? Yes. 35 times 2 is 70 root 2. So this is nothing but 7 plus 5 root 2 whole square. 
so i can consider the square root and square will be over so a will become cube root of i will write a square root let me write one time 7 plus 5 root 2 whole square now i will cancel a square root and a square so what is left it is a is equal to cube root 7 plus 5 root 2 now we have to only check this cube root then we will find out a equal e equal to a power 5 let's calculate a first so i will write a equal to 7 plus 5 root 2 and this is whole cube so we can write this expression as cube root of 1 plus 6 plus 2 root 2 plus 3 root 2 okay now we can write this cube root of 1 i can see as 1 cube 2 root 2 i can see it is root 2 whole cube this 2 root 2 now this 3 this 6 i can see as 3 times 1 times root 2 square and this 3 root 2 i can see 3 times 1 is square times root 2. You can check. It is a cube plus b cube plus 3ab square plus 3a square b. So this is one identity a plus b whole cube where a is 1, b is root 2. So I will be writing our cube root as it will become 1 plus square root 2 whole cube. Now we can cancel this cube and cube root. So our a will be 1 plus square root 2. Now we have to calculate our expression a power 5. So ultimately it is 1 plus square root 2 whole power 5. Now there are one simple method, means there are methods actually. The simple one is simply take a square, a square power and then 1 plus root 2. We can simply multiply and get the answer or otherwise we can consider this is our x. So we are going to calculate x power 5 and let's simplify. x is equal to 1 plus root 2 and we have to find out our expression which is equal to x power 5. Okay, so I will write x minus 1 equal to root 2. Consider squaring both sides. So x square minus 2x plus 1 equal to 2. Keep x square in LHS. The remaining would be RHS 2x plus 1. Now requirement is of x power 5. So I will consider squaring once again. So let's consider squaring. So I will write x power 4 equal to 4x square plus 4x plus 1. Let's put the value of x square again here. So I will write 4x square will be 4 times 2x plus 1 plus 4x plus 1. So this will give us 8x plus 4x, 12x and 4 plus 1, 5. Now requirement is of x power 5. So I will multiply with x both sides. So I will write x times x power 4. This will become 12x plus 5 times x which is 12x square plus 5x. So our expression e I can write x power 5 equal to 12x square. Again, we can put 2x plus 1. So I will write 12, 2x plus 1 plus 5x. So this will give us 24x plus 5x, 29x plus 12. And see it is 
expression e now let us put the value of x x is 1 plus root 2 so i will write 29 times 1 plus root 2 plus 12 so our final answer for this problem is 29 plus 12 41 plus 29 root 2 this method is little lengthy now let us take or let us learn the second method i will write method number 2 it is 99 plus 70 root 2 and whole power is 5 over 6 now 5 over 6 is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 so i can write this power as 99 plus 70 root 2 whole power is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 using property of exponent a power b plus c it can be written as a power b times a power c so we have to find out a square root of 99 plus 70 root 2 times cube root of 99 plus 70 root 2 so we can write 99 as 49 plus 50 and then 70 root 2 here and cube root i can write 99 we can split 72 plus 27 and this 70 root 2 i will split 54 root 2 plus 16 root 2 now you can see this is 7 square we have done already 5 root 2 whole square and this is 2 times 7 times 5 root 2 so this part is 7 plus 5 root 2 whole square with the square root so next step we will cancel these two we will have 7 plus 5 root 2 here from the square root now come to this cube root same way i will write cube root 27 we know that it is 3 cube this is 27 now 16 root 2 if you will see then it is 2 root 2 whole cube let us check 2 cube is 8 root 2 cube is 2 root 2 8 times 2 root 2 16 root 2 so yes it is correct now we have to only check the other two values so first value is 3 times 2 root 2 square times 3 check if it is matching so 2 root 2 square is 8 8 times 3 is 24 24 times 3 is 72 yes it is matching and see the second value 3 times 2 root 2 and 3 square so 3 square is 9 9 times 3 is 27 27 times 2 is 54 root yes so this is a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square so i can write here it is whole square of 3 plus whole cube of 3 plus 2 root 2 now we can cancel cube root and cube so here it is left 3 plus 2 root 2 once we will take the product of both let me take here see first square root is this second cube root is this now if i will multiply take the product i will be writing 21 plus 14 root 2 then 15 root 2 then 20 which is converting into our final and correct answer 41 plus 29 root this method is easy one i hope friends this video will be somewhere helpful to you do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself bye bye